Well, I just, it's funny because I just got a, we got an email in the group on Facebook. Yes, we actually check all of our emails. And um, it was a kid and he was talking about how sad he was because he kept getting bullied, you know? And I tried my best to let him know that, man, I remember the bullies. I used to be the bully in, in eighth grade when I was just a young, dumb kid, you know? And I realized that this world that we've created a high, as a high schooler, when you're in it, it's very, very difficult to see beyond it because there's, there's no one that you're interacting with that is outside of it. The only person that was outside of our high school world were the parents. And it's like, you don't wanna listen to your parents. My mom would always be like, Yo, that girl's wrong for you. She's totally wrong for you. I'm like, mom, stop trying to stop my you love. You don't know her. You don't know her. <laughs> She's awesome, right? And yo, my mom has never been wrong ever about any girl at any point. When I got to college, I would bring girls home to my mom on the first date just so she can break them down. You know what I'm saying? That's intense. But when you're in it, you don't, you can't see outside of it. And I think it takes a mature person to really stop for a minute you know, and just speak truth to yourself and say, this is not the end. This is about a centimeter of what my life is gonna be. When high school is done, it's done. Nobody remembers it, nobody talks about it, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just you done. Move you move on. I look back at all my friends that were the cool kids in high school, doing drugs, doing this, being the bullies. You know, and their lives have become, you know, they're excited about Friday night and it's like, yeah, I went to this club, you know. And like, dude, you're 32, homie. Like, really? Like, your highlight is, yeah, I just got wasted. It was awesome. I'm like, man, that's like a, if that's what you live for, then, I mean, that's cool, but it's just not, it's not what it's cracked up to be. And if, and if a young person can see that, if they can just speak some truth to themselves in their, in their mind, then it would be so much better off for them. Cause I know when I got saved in my high school year, my senior year, I was the outcast. Didn't nobody talk to me. I just went through school like this. It was it was pretty sad. All my friends left. Nobody, you know, I was prom king, homecoming king, all every year that I was in high school. And then my last year, I was I lost everything. It was like, boo, we don't want to vote for you because I didn't go to the parties. I didn't do anything. So it was like literally overnight, I was just completely outcasted. But I knew I was like, this is small. High school's small, man. Like there's a world out there that's so big and I'm gonna conquer it, you know?